Hey, it's Heather. Welcome back to Sunshine Hollow. Um, today I'm going to show you a little bit about how we ferment our grain for our animals. Um, I'll show you the process and break it down for um, what grains we use and how we continue the process of fermentation. There's a couple reasons that we ferment our grain. The first being that um, fermented grain um, is broken down a little more than just um, raw grains. So the chickens and the ducks is who we feed it to mostly, but the chickens and the ducks can um, get more nutrient out of it than if it was raw. So that means that we spend less money on grain because we can feed them less because they get more nutrient and can absorb more nutrient um, from the little bit that we give them. Also in fermentation, there's amazing naturally occurring probiotics. So just as you hear humans um, need probiotics and fermented food is amazing for humans, that goes the same for animals. So that those natural probiotics um, actually uh, make for an awesome GI tract. And then in turn, um, an awesome GI tract makes for great immunity against um, diseases or um, anything that were to go wrong with the uh, flax. So I'll share with you the ingredients as Mitch dumps them into this big barrel that we're all going to mix them all together in. Oh, there's an egg in there. <laughs> there's an egg. <laughs> all right, well, an egg is not part of the ingredients. <laughs> Who did that? Who did that? All right. So first we'll mix in, looks like some oats. Next, some small grains. And within the small grains, <laughs> In the small grains, there is the barley and the trictocale. <laughs> Next is cracked corn, it looks like. <laughs> and then we had this bag of scratch grain, which is basically what we just made. We just made a deconstructed scratch grain. Um, so we'll just add this in to stretch it. I mean, just because we had it. You see, we got the, in here there's easy to pick out oats, cracked corn. I think there's some oyster shells in scratch grain. So that's something that's a little different. says on the label here yeah in the scratch grain so it is what we made is just basically deconstructed scratch grain um but we're gonna ferment it for a little more nutrient for our chickens start the fermenting process, Mitch filled the grains, or these mason jars, mostly up with grains, don't mind his bloody finger, <laughs> and the grains will absorb all that water and um, swell up, and the nutrient in each of the grains will be more readily available for the chickens to break down in their bodies. So since we're just getting started, um, these will just be soaked grains for tomorrow, um, but they, this one will be able to let sit for three days, which will start the fermentation process. And um, I do believe it's a lac called a lacto ferment, just because there's no air availability. 
Um, and with the lacto ferment, we are getting more bacteria cultures, good bacteria cultures that, um, you know, humans need bacteria cultures. So who says our chickens don't as well? So you know it's fermenting when you get bubbles. So we're in our garden. This was the old duck setup, just a temporary rabbit hutch that we were using while they're little, but they've gotten pretty big. So Mitch built this beautiful duck house for them. So the best feature I think is these wheels on the back so that we can pick it up and drag it wherever we want. We've got really nice ventilation on both sides. We'll have a nice airflow. This right here is our handle, so when we pick it up, we can lift really high and get it on those wheels. And Mitchell demo how to let the ducks out. patrolling. It's a hot one and the big ducks are enjoying their pool as well. We like to flood it out and make kind of a mess because ducks like a mess. This is what they like. Um, so we flood out their water and it gets it nice and clean, sends all this nutrient into this pasture that they're on i mean technically it's our dog pen so we don't really need it to be a lush pasture but these practices would work really well in a garden setting or just a pasture that you want to be lush <laughs> so clearly we have a japanese beetle infestation problem So I'm taking this bucket of soapy water and going through the garden and trying to knock these guys into a bucket to kill them. They will wreak absolute havoc on your garden. Look what they're doing to my zinnias. They're completely defoliating them. Unfortunately, knocking them into this soapy water bucket is really the only way I know how to take care of these horrible, horrible pests. Um, and I just saw here, if you've never seen one, is a cucumber beetle. We want to eradicate those as well. I usually squish them between my fingers. Um, the cucumber beetle will effectively defoliate all of your baby cucurbit plants. That goes for cucumbers, melons, squash, zucchini, anything in the cucurbit family, they are going to defoliate um, as little tender plants. So you want to squish all of those and check under the underside of your leaves for their little bronze eggs as well. You want to destroy those too. Folks, Mitch just came from the beehive. This is the first bit of honey that we're tasting from our own beehive. I just reclaimed this little bed with my hoe right next to the duck coop and they're doing what they do best. They're really getting in there and foraging in that dirt. They're finding all the little bugs and worms that I dug up. It's pretty awesome and then promptly going to get a drink. <laughs> I've been really impressed with the duck project. Don't mind my sweat and dirt, but um, the ducks are really doing a great job at keeping pests down in our garden, as well as they haven't done much damage. There's a couple plants that have been trampled, but it's because it's in their like high traffic area, getting, oops, 
<laughs> it's in their high traffic area getting right into their coop so I'm just like I recommend this to anyone we were really nervous because putting them in this space is like our main growing space and if they were to wreak havoc and start eating our plants or really trampling our plants it would be a huge problem but um they really worked out great.